Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to Season 3, Episode 2 of the Doncaster Rovers FIFA 20 Career Mode. Looking forward to this one. We've had a very, very good start and as you can see, we are here on the Transfer Shortlist menu. Um, I asked you guys in the last episode, give me a clue who I should sign, uh, looking at adding quality to this squad to try and get into the playoffs and hopefully Premier League next season. And you guys delivered... Um, by saying Mateus Pereira um, from West Brom is currently at Celta Vigo um, so we've got him scouted or we, we're currently scouting him um, Neil Etheridge as well keeper currently at Cardiff 31 years old should get a couple of years out of him he is a very very good keeper so we'll see if we can grab him uh, we've got Thiago Almalda um, a very young Argentinian uh, plays for Velez Sarsfield I'm guessing they're an Argentinian team, um, so hopefully we can coach him or coach him over to uh, to England to play in the Championship. And he is an exciting prospect, apparently. So he would be a very good backup or potentially good. Um, what's the word? Competition. Good competition for. Uh, I forgot his name. Not doing very well today. But yeah, big good competition in the centre attacking midfield. And then also uh, Jetson Fernandez, currently at Sheffield United, centre midfield 22, Portuguese. So all those four are currently getting scouted. I think anybody below 70 we need to sack off. So he can go. Um got a few more scouting as you can see. Hopefully grab some decent players. And give us a chance of those playoff spots and potentially Premier League. Now, if you missed the last episode, go up, uh, I'll leave a link in the top corner, go and check it out. But we will have a look at who we're playing in this episode. We are starting in the Carabao Cup at home to Exeter City. I said in the last episode we would like a decent cup run in both the Carabao and the FA Cup. Um, and then we're going to finish off this month with Sunderland away, West Brom at home. Huddersfield away and Millwall at home and then we will probably do transfer deadline day in the next video but hopefully we'll have a few additions throughout this episode as well. So without further ado let's get into the Carabao Cup home fixture against Exeter.
So guys, we're on a little bit of a tough run um, and I'm doing a mid break because as you can see, round two, we are away at Chelsea. We're at Stamford Bridge in the Carabao Cup and I think that may have had something to do with our current form. So starting the, the episode with a 2-0 win last night, as you can see, it is now daylight and um, doing this after work the day after we've started this video. But then today's games away at the Stadium of Light, a 1-1 draw, a 0-0 draw against West Brom, which is not a bad result. Um, but then a difficult one to take, a 2-0 defeat to Huddersfield away from home. So I think the bright lights of London and Chelsea have been on the eyes of the players for the last three games. So hopefully they pull out a performance in this next game. While we are doing a mid-break, let's have a quick look at some of the uh, transfer targets. A couple, I think maybe one of our scouting group has come in um, so I do a road to glory career mode offline um, just when I've got a little bit of time and I'm not set up for videoing and I started with Admira in Austria and Awu was a fantastic defender and he gets up to around 80 overall so he's 68 at the minute 20 years old so I think he's worth a punt um, might offer between 1.6 He's on a weekly wage of 3400 so if we can get him in and get him up to those heights, what I've got him in my other career, he would be a very, very good signing. So I'm thinking of trying to get him um, in the next couple of days. You'll see that before the end of this episode. Arzani, um, he's looking pretty handy as well. I think I mentioned him last time, £6 million value, release close of 4.25. So I think they're probably the two that I'm going to go in for. And then wait until some of these with the uh, with the question marks come in. I think there's a few that you guys mentioned in the comments: uh, Pereira, Etheridge, Almalda, and Fernandez. Still got to wait for them to come in to see how much we've got to offer them. I mean, Fernandez, seventy and a half million. That'll be a loan. Almada, fourteen million. That'd end up having to be a loan. Etheridge, potential, four point four million. Thirty-one year old though. Soon to get somebody a bit younger, Pereira 14 million, so all outside our budget of 9 million, but potentially get him in on loan, we will see. But for now, round two, Carabao Cup, Stamford Bridge, let's get into it.
So guys, this brings us to the end of the episode, or almost. Quick look at some of the players. We've still got three days of scouting left on the guys who were mentioned in the comments. Um, Pozo coming at 73 overall. Yotta 77 overall, but they're, they're all a little bit outside of our budget. Um, it is transfer deadline day. I'm going to get through this before the end of the episode because I'm wanting to bring one more player in. I think one more player should see us or at least give us a little bit up until January. Quick recap on the episode. A decent 2-0 win. We'd be expected to beat Exeter. A um, couple of divisions between us, I believe. I think they're in League 2. 2-0 two win. Very happy with that. And then a bit of a dip in form in the league after the first two games where we won both against Leeds and Charlton. 2-1 and 2-0? Yeah, 2-1 and 2-0. But then the dip in form. Sunderland away, 1-1. Which, I suppose that's reasonable, and a reasonable 0-0 draw against West Brom, who are a decent team, uh, but that was at home. And then a 2-0 defeat at Huddersfield, that wasn't very good. And we think that eyes were on the uh, second round against Chelsea, which we put a lot of effort into. Going 1-0 up, then drawing 1-1, and then winning it at the death 2-1. And then the final game of this episode... It was a bit of a topsy-turvy game, 1-0 um, down, 2-1 up, then it went to 2-2 and we finally got the winner. Nice to see Vukic off of the mark. Third round, oh, it's another big one, it is Leicester City away, so that will be in the next episode along with Peterborough, Derby, Middlesbrough and Sheffield Wednesday. A quick look at the standings and there's some interesting reading. I've been seeing some of the results coming in and I think... Leeds United may be rock bottom without a win. Oh, no, they've had one win. One win in six. Peterborough rock bottom without a win. Hull City down there struggling as well with the lovely Grant McCann. Chef Wednesday, not out of danger either. Borough, who were playing in the next episode, are down there as well. So hopefully a decent run of results. Even though we've had a dip in form, we're still where we need to be. We are in touching distance of the playoffs. But it's still early days, only six games in. Three wins, two draws, one defeat. Do that for the rest of the season. We should be there, really. That's decent. Swansea, absolutely ripping the league to pieces at the minute. Six games, six wins. Fulham, just behind them on 15 points with one defeat. But playoffs, it's looking achievable. I think to make it more achievable, I'm wanting to bring in one more player. who are going to give it a go. I have brought Awu in, um, he's currently on £3,100 a week so he's taken a bit of a drop but a very very good defender um, and hopefully we can get him to the high 70s like he is in my other career mode but the other player I'm wanting to bring in is 22 year old Australian Daniel Arzani, 4.25 million, let's skip those negotiations because we don't want to be paying £6 million for him. He's currently on 14 and a half grand per week. I think we've got enough to offer him a similar amount of money, so let's see if we can get him. As you can see, my in-game character is still looking pretty good with the hair. I am not. I don't know what this bit's doing. But yeah, quarantine haircut at the minute. Need to get that sorted as soon as possible. So, squad roll. I think we can give him important. I think he'll uh, he'll get quite a few games. He might want crucial. Yeah, he does. He would be the best right midfielder at the club, so we will give him that. If we can, I like to time down to high contract lengths. He's happy with four years. That will do me. Disregard release clause because it frustrates me when teams come in. Offer him, like we've done with him there, offer him the release clause and then you've got to go through contract negotiations and things to try and keep them. So let's offer him exactly what he's on, a little bit more. Let's offer him 15 grand. We've got a, we've got a nice pot of money. So we'll offer him £200,000 signing bonus. Let's see if he, uh, if he takes this. 
he's very happy with that. There is a good, good signing. Arzani on the right mid. Very nice. And I think with that, with the two signings, should I say, I've already put Joe Wright on the transfer market. Um, I just don't think he's going to get enough game time. So if we can get some money for him, he's worth 750k. So three quarters of a million is better in our pocket than having somebody sat on the bench not being able to play. And now we've got another right mid. I can't see Taylor. Contract expiring in 11 months anyway. We've got Bowden, who's 69 overall. Arzani, 73 overall. Unfortunately, Johnny Taylor is going to get transfer listed. Just to release a bit of funds, like I say, just shy of a million pound. He's worth £9,000 wage budget contracts ending in 11 months, so I probably wouldn't renew it. So he's on the transfer market. Let's get through a couple of these hours, see if any bids come in. Here we go, transfer offer for Wright, and they are offering much, much more than what he is worth. So we're gonna accept 920,000 pounds. He's worth 750. Philadelphia Union. Potentially you are going to get Joe Wright, hopefully. Transfer talks go well with him. And we've got just shy of £1 million in our bank. Very nice. And elect wanting Ben Whiteman. Not a chance. Although they were offering good money. Just under £4 million. We're into the last couple of hours and we have got a transfer offer for Johnny Taylor. A little bit less than what he's worth, but he is coming to the end of his contract. So we're going to accept £850,000, only £50,000 shy of his value. I think that's a good deal. I'm quite happy with the squad that we've got. So I don't think there's going to be any more additions. Joe Wright has sold. And we have another bid for Johnny Taylor at 870. So a little bit closer to his uh, actual value. So we'll accept both. Give Taylor the option. But I think it's probably a little bit too tight. And neither will go through. Let's have a look. See if Taylor did sign. No, both transfer talks broke down, um, couldn't agree terms, so Taylor is still a Rovers player for now, but bids can still come in even though it's not the transfer window, and then he would leave in January. Got a loan offer for Elliot Carter, he is going nowhere, what a fantastic goal he scored in the last game. 18 years old, 70 overall, he's going to be an absolute beast, so reject. And that is it for this episode. Um, squad looking good. Position in the table looking good. First game in the next episode is Peterborough away. And we've got the big one, Leicester City away in the cup. If you've enjoyed this, big thumbs up for us please. Comment in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 2000. We're getting there slowly. So we need you to click that button to get us there. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.